everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Ubiquity just released another Ubiquity Insider video, and we're going to take a look at that. The one thing that I noticed right off the hop that a lot of people have been waiting for is this UNVR stacking. So let's take a look at the video together, and then I'll tell you my thoughts. Welcome to Ubiquity Insider, where we share insights into the latest Ubiquity R&D advancements. We've recently launched brand new hardware and major software updates, all with the goal of simplifying IT. We officially launched a new plug and play Unify OS console. Right out of the box, the Unify Dream Router is equipped with 4x4 Wi-Fi 6 Enterprise Performance Access Point and an integrated PoE gigabit switch with two PoE ports that lets you power Unify devices right from the UDR. Instant storage for Unify Protect video camera security deployment is provided with the integrated 128 gigabyte SSD, plus an SD slot for quick storage expansion. The UDR sets up in minutes and is ready to run any Unify OS application and power your small to medium deployments. Unify OS consoles are now more flexible to set up. We've now included local only operation without requiring a UI account or an internet connection for any Unify OS console. We officially launched Switch Mission Critical, a PoE switch that delivers an uninterruptible power supply in the event of a power failure, ensuring that even during a complete power outage, your Unify console, ISP modem, and security devices stay up and running. The Mission Critical maintains high reliability via multiple powering options, including AC power, an internal 368 watt hour lithium ion battery backup, and an external battery connection that can expand overall battery capacity. In the latest Unify Network application 7.1, we launched Power Search, allowing smart filtering of any table to find exactly what you want to see, and will soon be available for traffic analysis. In addition, we've added convenient multi-port editing for Unify switches with an all new full screen port configuration view. We also released Teleport, our subscription free VPN service. Simply open the Wi-Fi Man app and with one click, securely access your console anywhere without any additional setup. With Unify Protect, take advantage of superior latency that rivals real time experience of analog CCTV camera systems and with the all new PTZ preset feature, easily set high priority locations to focus on. We also added an easy way to recover your Unify Protect cameras for console hardware replacements or upgrades. We are really proud to finally announce the long awaited stackable UNVR capability, which will remove camera count limitations for Protect deployments, coming to EA next month. We introduced Unify Connect, our latest application within Unify OS, Designed from the ground up to be a fully integrated Enterprise of Things hardware and software solution focused solely on simplifying IT for organizations, scalably streamline commercial building management from within Unify, and with Unify Identity, introduce an incredible user experience for organization members, grant permissions across one or all devices, group devices, create scenes, and quickly add or remove who can control what and when and manage user profiles. With Connect, organizations can now seamlessly bring smart building management and IT within a single consolidated Unify platform. With Unify Identity's directory integration, bind your existing G Suite, Office 365, or other AD or LDAP personal directories in just a few clicks. It's that simple. With your bound directory, immediately manage employee permissions and take advantage of powerful features like granting instant access to doors, Wi-Fi, one-click VPN, and so much more. Learn more at ui.com slash UID. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Ubiquity Insider updates. And that was a jam packed video. They have shown us a lot of new things that are coming out. The first new thing is the UDR is now available to the general public. And I've done a review video on that. I'll leave the link below. The next major thing in this video was the ability to set up any Unify OS console offline and without a single sign on. So now you can set it up with just local access, which a lot of people have been asking for. 
that's great. Next, we have the addition of the mission critical switch that was just released, and I've also done a video on that. One thing in their quick start guide, they were also showing these external battery backups, and they hadn't announced it until today. So once these do go to the general public, I will grab a few and do a review video on them. They show a lot of new features, a part of the 7.1.x series of the Unify network. I did a review video on 7.1.61, but I was a little bit early and I was using a released candidate version of my UDM SE, so I took that video down. As of today, they have released to the general public a UDM SE firmware update. In changing WAN and LAN, you can now do that. I will repost that Unify 7.1.61 video. If we take a look at this picture here, this is of UID, but we could see this talk phone. It looks like they're bringing a soft phone to Unify Talk, which a lot of people have been requesting. Another great addition to the new Unify Protect controller is the ability to reassign cameras. So we can see here that this camera is managed by another console. Before they introduced this, if you didn't have the SSH password, you would have to get on a ladder and take the camera down and then reset it. But now all you need to do is hit this reassign button and it will go into your Unify Protect. I think that is a wicked update. And the one thing I'm most excited for in this video is the ability to stack our UNVRs. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. I have a lot of customers with multiple UNVRs as they need the ability to have over 50 cameras. To be able to stack them and see them in just one protect controller is going to make it a lot easier. We can see that it's coming to EA this month, so I will be testing that, doing videos on it once it becomes released to the general public. And the last thing they show us is this dashboard of UID. There's three new things here that look new to me, the trusted devices, layout, and attendance. I haven't seen this yet. We will end up doing more videos on UID. So I think that was a great Ubiquity Insider for May of 2022. Let me know what you think about the UNVR stacking. If you are planning on buying any Ubiquity devices and you want to support the channel, I now have Ubiquity affiliate links and they're posted in the description. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.